Logic Tours and welcome back to my channel. Today is 11 of May, Tuesday 2021. And let's start today's project. For a couple of dollars from AliExpress, look what you can purchase. Replace lead acid for lithium battery case box electric storage green box. And instead of uh, buying that box and waiting a couple of weeks from China, I decide to modify this dead 12 volt lead, lead acid battery that is mostly used in home alarms, it's used in car toys, in big car toys for driving the, car, the kids. Before I, I open the, the battery, on, uh, on the voltmeter you can see that this battery is dead. It's giving 1.5 volts, which is very bad. The first thing that uh, I need to do is to open the battery and I need to be very careful. And please, if you do this project, use gloves and use uh, protection for your eyes and in next minute I will show you how to open the battery using the only cutting knife and when you open the, the battery you need to be careful with the lead acid which is uh, very dangerous and be carefully be careful while you uh, pulling out the the lead cells from the plastic box and cleaning up just like mine. This is the the top part of the battery, and I have add a positive and negative wire to the main positive and negative terminal of the battery. And here it is the, the case and now I'm gonna explain some electronic components that I that I already put on the on the box. The first thing is this digital controlled power supply that can be adjusted from zero up to 15 volts, depends on the voltage that I that will be given. Not to forget that that the digital adjustable power supply that works with in DC input from 4.7 volts up to 23 volts and can give DC output voltage from 0 to 16 volts. It comes with a clear transparent case that I didn't use and it costs from eBay around $6. I will put link in description below so you can check it. Here will be a small, where is it? Here it is, a small LED voltmeter. And when you press the, the push switch, you can read the, the voltage of the battery. This will be the power supply. This is not for reading the voltage of the battery. So I need to put one more voltage voltmeter with push switch for fuse I have had a fuse if there is a, some short and the main power switch it's not still connected and here will will be placed a, a lithium batteries I will use 16 volts. Four cells will give 16 volts. Okay. So to be everything clear, to explain that the terminals, positive and negative on top of the battery, that will be output voltage control, controlled by the digital power supply. This will be in, this is out. This these wires will go directly on the lithium battery pack 
and the voltmeter, positive and negative, also on the battery pack. All that through the fuse and the main switch. My LiPo mod for lead acid 12 volt battery is almost finished. And here it is the, the battery pack. I know that it's looking very ugly, but here are eight cells, two in the group, four groups or four groups of 18650 batteries connected in serial. At, at fully charged, they will give around 16 volts. some of, of you will ask how will how you will charge the, the lithium batteries I have this cheap lipo balance charger that I can choose to to charge the, the batteries each cell or all cells together okay Now it's time for testing and it turned out pretty good with all that functions as a fuse, a LED voltmeter tester and let's power up. Whoa. You can see that this is the adjusted voltage and also it shows the the amperes and, and with these two buttons down and up you can adjust the voltage just pressing the, the push button look the voltage is dropping okay and now let's test the the voltage of the battery 15.3 volts okay the output voltage will be on these terminals just to turn on the light okay it's working and first I'm gonna measure with the multimeter okay negative to negative positive to positive you can see that the, on the voltmeter the reading is 8 volts also here 8 volts now I'm gonna increase up to 12 volts okay 12 volts here and we have 12 volts there power off 0 volts power on 12 volts testing the battery 15 volts okay now I'm gonna hook up an ordinary 12 volt light bulb Turn off the lights, power on, 5.4 volts, I will increase the voltage and just look the light bulb, 7 volts, 8, 9, 10, look the brightest of the, the bulb, 12 volts. And it's pulling 0.4 amps that is 400 milliamperes turn it off turn it off test the voltage of the battery and 
drop the voltage. Okay, it's working fine. Let's test this geared motor that is 12 volts just to hook up the terminals. Okay. Power on. I'm dropping the voltage. Right now it's on three volts and it's pulling around two amps. Whoa. Okay. That was all, all for today video. I hope you like it. Please hit the subscribe button. Visit my YouTube channel and watch other DIY videos. Thank you for watching.